Hey everybody, welcome to part 21 of Ratchet and Clank going commando. So yeah, in the last episode we made it here to this facility, but I died in the process, so that it, that's why I'm kind of where I am right now. Did I seriously just waste ammo because I thought they were gonna die, turrets? Because I thought they were gonna spawn in enemies? Does that mean all the enemies are destroyed? Yeah, I think for this spot, the enemies are completely destroyed until you get to the spot where they were. There we go. Ow! You guys shot me without even being on screen. Man, I swear these are not doing as much damage as I would like them to anymore. Man, last episode we got like the liquid nitrogen gun, the multi-disc gun. We got a lot of stuff. I would like to get my Rift Inducer up to max, but, uh oh Okay, now with that, let's use the Rift Inducer. Ow. Oh, dude, do you have to be a royal dick butt kiss over there? Thank you. Like, I know there's a, a healing block over, or an infernal block over there, but I want to get the experience. Plus, I don't think these guys respawn, so once you kill them, they're gone. And this weapon is still not that high up. Oh, man. Agents of Doom? Well, apparently, they just weren't spawning in. Guys, can you take them down? Oh, God damn it! Oh, I can only have two pods up at a time, okay. Oh, what the hell? No! There was the command center! God, Jesus. Okay. Wait, that... It does literally one damage. That's all it does is one damage. It's kind of corny. See, these boots are infinite in this game. The steering's a little bad, but they are infinite. Yeah, see, nothing spawns back. And now with this, we can just use the Inferno power and come over here. I'm like, do you not see me, dude? Oh, it's insta-kill on him, too? Does that mean it's insta-kill on the ship? Yeah, it is. Oh, here we go. There is one thing you should know by now. Do not mess with Agent Clank. Incoming call from the Phoenix. Nice shooting, Clank. There's no telling how many lives you just saved. But we're not done yet. Huh? Al just finished decoding the data disk. Nefarious secretly constructed a second bio-obliterator. A new model even more dangerous than the one you just destroyed. Where is it? Nefarious has a master control center on planet Mylon. We believe the last bio-obliterator is there now, guarded by an entire robot army. Then we'd better get moving. Be careful, guys. This time, they know you're coming. Oh man, the final planet of the game. So with that, um, why not go and just do some extra stuff so we don't, anything there, I don't believe there's anything there. I will get the bolts, I'll see, there are two bolts there? How come I never found them? <laughs> Let's see, we need to go here to turn the bird, or what do they call it? Something to birds, right? We gotta turn the little enemies into ducks. So let's go. Then we can also go to Annihilation Nation and do that. I think in the next episode we're actually finishing off the game. Planet Dex. A lot of a lot of water-based planets with just like little islands. Okay. Waxer, let's go. Oh, it's bugs to birds. Yeah, bugs. Okay, so 
that. Do the big guys still spawn? I don't think they do. For some reason, I don't think the big guys spawn. This is really easy. Oh no, big guy! There's the skill point, so... Where'd he go? Bugs to birds. I don't really understand the whole, like, skill point choice in this game, but whatever. I mean not skill point, I mean trophies. Like, the skill points make sense, but the trophies seem a little weird. And these enemies literally do one damage. So you can clearly tell that the armor did work. Boom. And boom. And these bolts are literally giving us nothing. Issue is, though, is it will always bring us down to the plant we have to go to. So anyways, let's go to Annihilation Nation. Funny thing is... Um... What was I going to say? Funny thing is, I there's actually less planets in this game than I remember. It's just, some of them are very long and difficult, and other ones are just short and easy. Like, Annihilation Nation is probably one of my favorite places, but it's clearly just a starport that you can fight a shitload of enemies on. So, that's kind of cool. So anyways, we have the other white meat, which is going to be super easy because this thing doesn't run out of ammo, and it's only worth 8,000 bolts, but it'll still get us closer to getting those weapons from Slim Cognito. Six rounds of this, too. Plus, this actually doesn't level up that slow. Not from these enemies, surprisingly. Like all the quacking. The stronger the enemy, the longer it takes to turn them, though. That's, that's a given. Why so many of the little guys? These guys are easy. Man, this game has an obsession with robo ninjas and robo ghost pirates. Hey guys. Oh, I have to sneeze. It's not a nice feeling. This might be good to try and do the hundred uh, round thing with. There we go, 8,000 volts. And that's the Corktastic Battle. It's only worth 200,000. I believe if you do it on challenge mode, it's worth a million bolts. And trust me, there are going to be weapons that require you to, you know, spend a million bolts. In. Fudge 6. I did not actually want to come here yet. I wanted to actually go back and buy one of the weapons from Slim Cognito. But. I kind of done goofed. Command Center, Pi Pilot, Planet Mylon. I'll bet you miss your old shield charger, huh? Lucky. Oh my god, another item from him. Funny thing is, I believe that's actually cheap. Anyways, let's go back to Aquatos. Yeah, those giant robotic tyranoids are back. Like, yes, this game has a lot of rehashing, but it's not like a lot of games like Destiny where they have expansions, but the expansions are literally just like the same enemy over and over. Like, you kind of expect there to be like similar enemies though in a game. Like, if the entire enemy army is tyranoids, well, you expect to see tyranoids, but just the different varieties. Like, you have the UFO ones, you have the little ones, you have the walker ones, you have the giant ones, and then you have the ones that shoot like the, the electric blasts. Yeah, oh, never mind. The only thing I can afford is the bouncer. The shield charger is really good though, because it protects you from damage. And why it's good and easy to level is because it levels just from you taking damage. I believe too, once you upgrade enough, it actually hurts enemies. <coughs> oh, excuse me, there's a sneeze. I hurt my fractured rib. Oh, I got a text message. Man, even if my girlfriend has to... Man, Dental coverage is terrible. It's like, so, something costs you $400, if we get max coverage, 
we still only get we still have to pay 200 like it's not not good at all uh, annihilator go yeah these guys take a lot of damage there we go now we can break all this again we literally just farm here for bolts so anyways let's continue on I believe we also have to use the hacker and everything here again Whoa, god damn it, they surprised me. Like, they didn't scare me, it's just like the damage came out of nowhere. Can you stop fucking hitting me, man. Man, two mini turrets in this. Luckily, the range on this got a lot better. Still takes three hits to kill these guys, though. Oh, man. I believe the mini turret can work on walls like this. Let's try it. Oh, not right there though. Come on, destroy them! Oh god damn, I need one more. At least I think. Yo, it was just enough. Woo! Oh! Here's the tier guys part. And if you're not a Tyranoid, when you go up there, they will kill you. You're going to need the tier, guys. I know exactly what I'm doing. Hey, hey! Square, triangle, X, circle, square, up, X, circle, circle. This is a fire drill. I need you to uh, activate the elevator immediately, then proceed to the nearest swimming pool and throw yourself in. What are you looking at? Hmm, how do I know I can trust you? You are a squishy after all. X, X, uh, left, down, down, triangle, square, right, square, right, circle. Could one Tyranoid lie to another? Only if his lips were moving. Oh, God damn it. Up, down, up, down, square, 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 circle, triangle, r left, square. I'm not sure I like your tone. I must report your behavior to the authorities if you do not let me pass. You're going to be passing through my bowels if you're still standing here in five seconds. It's so weird because he's not looking at me. Like, what is he looking at? Boing, boing, boing. Alright, no need to get violent. I'll just phone up Dr. Nefarious and let him know he won't be getting his ma massage today. I'm terribly sorry for holding you back, friend. Please proceed. Say hi to Dr. Nefarious for me. That's what gets him? Dr. Nefarious' massage? Hey guys, I'm just a Tyranoid. Anything here? No, nothing. What's eh? that over there? I don't know what that is. I don't think it's anything. Maybe it is. Anyways, let me uh, smash all of these crates. Because I need the money. And you can't be a Tyranoid climbing up stuff, so... Oh, god damn it. More of it! Okay. Square, triangle, X, X, triangle, down, up, hold circle. Excuse me, sir, Lawrence doesn't like the color of this force field. He says it clashes with his trousers and he wants it deactivated immediately. Nice try, Squishy. You know I heard a rumor about a Lombax creeping around here disguised as a Tyranoid. Square, triangle, circle, X, circle, down, left, X, circle. Wow, that's a good one. That Lombax must be incredibly brave. Or incredibly stupid. Is that some kind of Halloween costume you're wearing? No, it's not a Halloween costume at all, dudes. It's just my real flesh. Aha! If you let me through, I'll loan you my Amiiboids Gone Wild Hollow Vid Disc. Hmm, director's cut? Oh, man. See, these games were meant for, like, teens and young adults. Now it's, like, all e -tad. Of course, you won't believe what those slimy coeds do when the cameras are rolling. You've got yourself a deal. You want to know something funny? He is now dead, and now... Oh, God! I thought those couldn't activate, even after he died, but oh, well. 
<laughs> oh, these little guys. Perfect spot to level up our mini turret glove. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Mega turrets fire guided missiles that chase enemies down and strike them with deadly force. Mega turrets will continue to fire until they run out of ammo or targets. Wow, that's nice. But anyways. Or right, we'll just knock them down all over the place. Boing, boing. Oh! And now we got the Decimator. Oops, I forgot to read what that said. I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry. The fact that I didn't want to die meant something. And then I still take dumb damage because of the spot that it popped out of. Can you just kill these guys already, please? And he is dead by me pounding his face in. Oh, hey. How you guys doing? We got one air group and one ground group. Oh, god damn it. Okay, now what do I want to use on these guys? Nitro Eruptor, Decimator, Mega Turk Love, Rift Inducer? Does it work on these guys? No, it technically doesn't. So, let's see. Uh, wait. Oh, I know what's missing. I didn't put the bouncer on. <clears throat> so instead of that, let's put the bouncer on. Ow. Rift Ripper? We got the Rift Ripper? I didn't even know I did that. There we go. No! He broke through the goddamn wall! Well, that's a... Oh my lord, guys, we're all the way back here. Oh, hang on, I gotta answer a text message. Okay, so we technically have dental coverage now. That's pretty good. You know what? I'm done screwing around with you guys. This weapon is still overpowered. See what I mean? This is what I mean by... It was a smart idea to level it up. Oh. I forgot. It's not good at close range. Plus, we've almost maxed out our health for... Ooh. Apparently, it also didn't do much in sin. See, the bouncer does decent damage to these guys still. Whoa! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we pretty much just have to beat the game. I don't think we have to go through the Tyranoid walls anymore. Like, we still need to turn into a Tyranoid to get past. But that's about it. I believe once it's activated, it's activated. Now, I believe there's actually a bolt over here, and I completely forgot about it. So there we go. Hmm. The bouncer doesn't level that fast, surprisingly. Now let's turn back into him. Go through here. Like, I like the pirate guys, though, you know, won't continuously disguise him in our other Let's Play. Or, I mean, continuously disguise. Continuously, um, protect us from them. Oh. Goodbye there, sir. Also, Bouncer will be good for this spot. So, you're gonna come through that door. See, these enemies don't. Alright, like. Once you kill them, it's not like they don't respawn. These guys actually do. Okay, apparently, my weapon's not going in there. Go in there! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think we really need help. Um. Hmm. You know what? Bouncer will still be good against these guys. Nice little bit there. I don't get why some of them die and some of them don't. Wow, 97 nanotech now. Also, more bouncer targets! Boink. One decimator. 
I love the decimator, man. Oh, there's the hacker spot. Yep. What the heck is he doing over there? You know what? Actually, whack over it. Go! Man, that actually levels up really fast here, too. But then again, it is probably one of my only V1 weapons. Now we gotta destroy everything in the land. Now these ones can be difficult, so... Be on the lookout for some difficulty here. Okay, with that, we shall be victorious. Man, so many fireballs. Stop with the fireballs. Skimmy green ones. And there we go, round two. Now remember, if you fail these, you do have to do them all over, so... Yeah, don't fail them. It's like failing the Tyranoid part, I believe you have to do... Actually, no, you, I don't believe you have to redo it all over. Whew, that was a close one. See, like, they these get tough, because there's so much stuff on screen at one time. And those shields don't help. Especially if fire pops up behind them. Luckily, that one didn't have anything behind it. Okay, I gotta destroy this one before anything. There we go. Final round. Luckily, once you hack these two, you don't have to hack them if you die. Kind of makes sense for the final planet to have no checkpoints, but at the same time, it's kind of a dick move. Like, there's so much to do here. And, like, so many enemies to deal with. Come on, let me through. Whoa, that one got very, very crowded. Ooh. Oh. I can use you guys in here. Oh, they're behind me. I'm like, where are they? Ow! Actually, the bouncer might have been a better bet here. God damn it! Also, looks like I need the refractor in here as well. I don't want the infect. Oh yeah, I should have been working on that skill point, but nope. Knowing me, I didn't. Can you just attack the enemy, please, and stop screwing around. Thank you. Now let's turn the bolt crank. Oh my god! Ending of the game! Learn how to turn a bolt crank! Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, see, now we're using the refractor. It's like, oh, you need help learning how to do all this now? Clearly, you didn't do it all to get through the game, so. We'll just teach you again. I believe this spot also stays completed as well. Wah, wah, wah. This looks like it's going to be annoying. Uh oh. He survived that attack. Oh god damn it! He actually hit me! Like, man, I know that would be perfect bouncer leveling in there, but... Oh god damn it, no, don't fail here. Oh, thank god. No! I don't need you guys to come and ruin my day. Go away. I'm having a good day without you guys being here. Wait, checkpoint? You mean there's actual checkpoints? Yay! We're too late. Oh, snap! We're flying away. Air 
Uh oh. The Farius has already initiated the launch sequence. If that thing gets into space, Felden won't have a chance. That's not gonna happen. Uh, so anyways, guys, this is where I say we're going to end the episode because this is the final boss fight. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Ratchet & Clank up your arsenal. Peace.